Hey friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our Next.js fundamental series and uh, this is what we have created in the last video for the setup uh, and the layout for our project, right? So slowly, slowly we'll be adding all the features in our project as well as at the same time we'll be uh, learning all the fundamentals of Next.js, right? So in this video I'm going to talk about routing, right? So routing is one of the most important thing in Next.js, right? So we have created a couple of pages with the help of routing. That's a basic or simple routing. But there are advanced routing, different uh, segments of routing. We need to discuss about that, right? So let me show you uh, the, like we can create uh, files within the pages directory and that will always be lowercase and uh, that is going to be considered as a path for, for that particular page or component, right? Nested routes you can create. Here is the example, blog and then first post.js. So this blog is nothing but the folder and then first post is a file name. So this is a nested routes you can create. Now the important part we need to understand dynamic route segments. So there are different segments. Uh, we can create different segments for a route, right? Let's assume here is our uh, page, right? And uh, we have created a post page. If I go to that post page and hit enter, and I'm gonna see post, right? Now, if, if I want uh, a specific post, not all the posts, basically this represents a list of posts, right? And I want something like, uh, no, not, not all posts, but I want a specific post and the ID of that post is uh, 100, okay? Let's hit enter and you're gonna see 404 because that doesn't exist. So if what you're gonna do, you, you can go to the post folder and create a file with the name 100. So you are going to create a file 100.js. Now if you want another post, then you'll say 102, 103.js. So that's, uh, you are gonna end up with lots, lots of uh, script right? Lots of files. That is totally wrong. So we are going to discuss about segments, how we can create a segment, how we can create the placeholders like that. Exactly similar. So let's go to the project and here is our post uh, project and this is the index file you have just seen. Now if I want to have a have a specific post then I'll have to create a file name, a unique file name with a square bracket. So here I want to say post id. And then the extension of the file, so it's in the JavaScript file, .js. Now let's index.js, copy things from here, post.id, paste here. Okay, let's remove this, this is not required. And here we're gonna say post, 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 and we'll say post details. Cool, post details, save. And now if I go and check things like 100 now it is coming the page is already loaded page readers yeah, i can give any id uh here and this is not 404 this is some valid page if we go inspect and click on this console sorry console and let's let's reload this page and here you're gonna see something okay we have warnings invalid dom property stroke line so these warnings are uh, html uh, and uh, css related stroke uh, stroke stroke line cap so these are the warnings we can get rid of this uh, later that is fine and if i want to access this id what i have to do i have to use a hook uh, from the next library so let's import that we'll say import and from we'll say next slash router so here, from here we will uh, grab a hook, that's a use router and then we'll in initialize inside the component on the top level and always you have to initialize this on the top level, not anywhere else, it is not going to work. Router equals to use route, not reducer, it's router. Use router. So this is the router. Now let's do the log, console.log and here we'll say router save and here we have seen our router let's go and click open this router and this is the path post slash uh, number whatever we have given that's id and we have a couple of functions and that we are going to see later and here we have query and there we have post id so we can grab our id from here let's go and say post details and here we'll say first let's get the id say const your router dot query and from here i'm gonna get post id let's copy this paste over here save 
and this is our post ID, right? We got it. So working fine, right? Now what if I want a couple of more parameters? Let's say one more, okay? So what I can go, I can go to the post and I want more. more. So just keep in mind, uh, if you create again a file, let's say I want to have a username, right? So username dot js. So here you're, go you're going to get an error because on the same level, you cannot have two different slags, slugs, right? And definitely you, you're going to get an error in your terminal also. So here your terminal is saying fail to reload dynamic route. You cannot use different slug names for the same dynamic path. So it's a very important point. You cannot use different slug names for the same dynamic path. So if I want to use that, let's rename this thing. Uh, let's first delete this and create a folder. Move to trash. And here I'm going to say, uh, let's say user, right? And within the user now I can go, I can write something like a folder. So I'll say username. Username.js. Okay, let's copy this. And here I'm going to say paste. So here I'll say username component. And let's replace this. Right. So here we have username and same route. We are going to take this thing from here. Copy and paste. Instead of post ID, here we'll say username. Cool. And here we'll say dash username save. Let's go cool. and pages. And here we're going to say post. Then we have user folder. Within that, we have username, say res1, its head header, and can't resolve components header. So maybe that is the import statement that is not required. Actually, this is no file exists like that. And here we go. Here you go. And yeah, it's getting reload. So I'm using a voice processing software, and that's making my computer slow right now. So here it's saying router doesn't exist. So let's go. And uh, here is my post ID, right? Let's import this inside the username. And here it is. So we got the user for this one. Let's say us. And here it is us. And we are making a request. That's the reason it is like taking a bit of time. Okay, but that is totally fine. Once the client side rendering, uh, uh, client side navigation will start, then it will be like very smooth. So yeah, like this, we can have different parameters. Now other things, uh, what if you want one more? So you can just go and go on like that, creating the square brackets and name. Let's say after username, you want uh, uh, the post ID. Then you again, you have to create a folder and you can go nested like that. But that is fine. Uh, the important thing we need to understand, uh, here, uh, if you go to the documentation, so here we are and this one, what's this? Okay, so let's say there are uh, more than uh, two, three parameters, like uh, for example, in this case, post, then date, then ID, then title, and so many things, right? So we cannot create uh, files and folders for every uh, placeholder or every segment, right? So we can use this uh, square bracket with dot dot, so it is gonna split things for us. Let's try that. And here we go. And uh, here we'll create a file. And here we're gonna say uh, square bracket and give it a name like slug.js. Okay. So slug.js and let's copy things from here. Copy and paste here. And here say full post just any random name nothing related full post full post and 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 this is not required let's first try to run this thing and let's remove this save first thing oh let's try here and let's go here and so what's that post slash something slash something slash something slash something slash something slash something hit enter 
and yeah we got our full post working fine right so here you need to understand one thing more important now this time we have segments on the same path right so inside the post we have two uh two different paths we have the same path but slugs uh, uh but the segments are different right so here it is working in this case it works but if you if you're gonna have a specific placeholder like this post id then it is not going to work you're gonna get an error in the terminal right so in this case it works you can catch all the parameters over here not just that if i want something like uh uh, question mark and I will say name equals to such and hit enter in this case also it works fine and if I will uh, log this route then I'm gonna see something interesting let's reload and here is our route let's open this let's open this and here is our query uh, query we have name such and so for the query name equals to such and we are getting over here and for rest of the placeholders or segments I can see an array and it, everything is just over here right so you can get all this stuff like that and here I can just place some more parameter like and the year equals to 2021 and um, gender equals to male like that hit enter and in this case also it is working open this route router and here and here a query and we got g that is mail name such and yeah so you can access everything whatever you want for the slug for the unknown uh, like uh, segments we have an array and everything listed as it is so working fine right so here it is all about routing in the next video we will see data fetching strategy thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to share this video okay